And tonight, we're following up with a 100-year-old upstate veteran, a former Clemson University grad. He's being honored for his service in the war. Fox Carolina's Anna Arinder sat down with him to hear how he feels about this award. Next Saturday, Captain Joe Jones will walk into Memorial Stadium, stand on the field, and receive a Medal of Honor for his bravery during World War II. But when you talk to him, he's very humble, and he says he's not the real hero of this story, but actually the men who never made it back home. No, I wasn't a hero. The heroes are the guys that got killed. I had 52 in my class that got killed during the war, and many of them got injured which represented about 20% of my class. Most of them got killed during the last 100 days of the war, just after the Battle of Bulls. With tears in his eyes, 100-year-old Army veteran Captain Joe Jones can remember vividly his time in World War II. You remember a lot. Yeah, yeah, people don't realize you just slept where you ended up. They was out in the woods or out in the open, you just lay down. Sleep, we'd get together some straw and stuff like that and put together. Jones was majoring in animal science at Clemson University, finishing his junior year when he got orders to report to Fort Jackson. I called a ride with my brother down to Saluda. Back then we used our thumb. I thumbed my way into Columbia. Saw a bus that said Fort Jackson. Got on that bus and reported along my whole class. This is 14th Infantry, and my dog tag. From June 1943 to September 1946, the captain led men through France, Germany, and Austria, mostly on foot, losing men along the way. You think about the ones that died and whatnot. And of course, a lot of them got injured. I knew one that got his, a couple of them got the arms mangled and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sure I don't know too much about the others. I was thinking the other day it'd be good if you had a listing of all the, each one and what, what part he played and where he came back and where he served and what his injuries were. Jones says not long after returning home, he went back to school. I came back to Clemson and went down to the Y. Big Ben Goodale, a professor of mine who also helped send letters to us from Clemson. I opened the door and he saw me. He yelled, Joe K. Jones, welcome back. <laughs> so then I got enrolled at Clemson and I finished up, uh, up the year there. I asked him how it feels when he's highlighted for his bravery and service during the war. Sad. Sad. I'm over-recognized. I'm over-recognized. It's not so much about me, it's about my classmates mm -hmm. that got killed. That's what I'm more concerned about. I was a little peg in a big hole. I don't like to be recognized because those guys are the ones that need to be recognized. All I'm going to do is represent them the way I look at it. Now we'll be here covering the ceremony next Saturday. It's going to happen about two and a half hours before kickoff. In Clemson, I'm Anna Arinder, Fox Carolina News. Such a sweet story. And according to the National World War II Museum, there are still 2,142 World War II veterans living in South Carolina. They make up just 0.6% of the state's total veteran population of about 353,000 veterans.